And we begin with a month-long gun trafficking conspiracy that's been busted. Federal officials announcing two indictments on a trafficking conspiracy. It all started in Georgia and South Carolina. Our Kylie Jones is joining us live with the details. Kylie. Federal officials say more than 400 guns were bought in South Carolina and Georgia. 14 people are now facing charges in what officials call the Iron Pipeline. Today, federal officials announced the bust in Philadelphia. They say these hundreds of guns were driven up the uh, East Coast in multiple trips over the course of six months. Officials say some of the guns were bought legally, others through straw purchases, meaning some of the guns were bought for people who either couldn't legally buy them or didn't want their name on the purchase. Officials say some were bought together, others bought separately. This is, this is all part of what they call a federal crackdown on gun trafficking. Both cases involve individuals illegally trafficking firearms from states in the south up into northeastern cities, in this case Philadelphia, which are then recovered at crime scenes, a phenomenon known as the Iron Pipeline. Federal officials say these guns were sold on the black market and used in a slew of crimes across Philadelphia, including non-deadly shootings. They say there are still dozens of these guns from the southeast out on the streets. And some of the suspects were reportedly arrested in South Carolina, where they're from. Officials say they are still looking for three of the suspects. 